Hi, this is Amy, and I thought I would show you a little bit about how Google Video as a part of Google Apps for Education works. So this is how you would get to the settings for who can actually upload video. It's not meant to be a system where just anybody in your whole domain can upload video. It's going to be limited to 100 people at a time. Now you can change out those people if you want, but um, that's how it works. So. Here are video upload loaders for this domain. So anybody whose email address is here is going to be able to upload videos and if their email address is not here they can still watch videos if they have permissions but they're not going to be able to upload. So now let's go look at it from the user perspective and see what it looks like. So I'm going to click on video up here at the top in my black bar and here are some videos that are in this domain. So I own this video. I can go to my videos and I'll see it there and when I click on it I can see the content uh, the information that I've put in about this video so if I go to edit over here I can get all of the the data that I typed in and let you see that and how it looks I have sharing settings on the video my broadest sharing setting that's available is anyone inside this particular domain so I'm not going to be able to share this with people outside my domain without adding them individually. Let me see if I can do that. So this is what happens. I'll try to share this with my personal email address and I'll get could not add the following users. So this user is not a part of this domain. Meanwhile though, if I share this with someone who's inside this domain like Melissa, then I'm going to be able to invite her to share this with me or collaborate on it if I want her to put in uh, tags or type a description or something like that she'll be able to do that she could also put in closed captioning if I had um, included that so that's just a tiny little preview of how Google Video works this would be great in conjunction with YouTube for education um, I don't know a whole lot about that solution right now, but I know that it's a, a great solution a lot of schools are using. One to take a look at is Maynard New Tech High School. Uh, if you get a chance to go and visit the school, please do. It's really fantastic. It's not free to go and visit, but you'll see why. They really dedicate a lot to the visits, and, and you and your staff will get a ton out of it. It's sort of a vision for what I would like to see my school district become in the future. So um, Maynard New Tech High School really uploads a lot of videos and these are mostly student produced but some of them are teacher produced videos but um, you can just learn so much about their school by scrolling through here and so this is their YouTube channel and you can have a channel like this too and I'll show you where to get started with that so if you will navigate to www.youtube.com slash schools, you can find out all kinds of information about YouTube for schools. There's even information here if you want to uh, bypass things that are not included in, in the educational part of YouTube. So that's a great benefit to your school and something a lot of schools have struggled with. There's information for your system administrator here that you can use. As you sign up and walk through the process, you'll see that information. So hopefully that helps. I know a lot of school districts have lost funding for their video service it's a very expensive thing to maintain and luckily you can you can get all of those great educational things for free now so hope that helps have a great day